Hello all blind friends, back again with me Ari Hendarno. This time we will discuss the concept of vectors. Let's study together. Here I have prepared materials for learning about vectors. Here there is a Cartesian diagram made of styrofoam, then given a string as the x and y axis. Diagram Cartesius yang terbuat dari styrofoam, lalu di sini diberi tali sebagai sumbu x dan and also glued with tacks or pins. And given a roof texture for the lines to be used as coordinate points using a rudder, the texture can be felt to determine where the coordinates are used. Garis -garis yang akan digunakan sebagai titik koordinat menggunakan rudder. Teksturnya bisa diraba untuk menentukan tansi di mana titik koordinat yang digunakan. Then I also use a straw as a line segment which we will use, a push pin and also a marker to write on paper. Before we get into the concept of vector, we must first know what a vector is. A vector is a line segment that has direction and magnitude. For example, we make a point P, 3, 4. We give a push pin to point 3, 4. This means to the right from the center point of the coordinates as far as 3 units along the x-axis. One, two, three. Then four along the y-axis to the top. One, two, three, four. Now here is point P. Then we can label point P. Apart from writing in ink, there is also braille writing beside it to make it easier for our blind friends to recognize these letters. We will create an OP vector, which is a vector made from the center point of the Cartesian coordinates, namely 0, 0 to point P. Vector yang dibuat dari titik pusat koordinat Cartesius, yaitu 0,0 ke titik P ini. We can use a straw so that later the lines will have directions, like what? Let's see how to make it. We make the OP line segment using this straw, and we can also use kisser so that the length of the OP line segment matches. So, first of all, we measure from point 0, 0 to point P. We get the length and then we cut it. After we cut, because the vector has a direction, we have to make the direction. The direction can be made by cutting the tip of the straw that we have prepared as a line segment for the OP vector. Let's cut at the ends. So we cut at an angle. The purpose of this cut is so that our blind friends can feel and recognize their directions. Tujuan dipotong ini adalah agar sahabat tunanetra kita Because when it touch, there are different position that point in a certain direction. So if here it leads to point P. After we make the cut, we can attach it with a push pin at the end of a point P and also at point 0, 0. Setelah kita buat potongannya bisa kita tempelkan dengan push pin. Kita push pin di ujung titik P dan juga di titik 0,0. The line that is formed can be considered as a representation of the OP vector. So, if the vector has a direction, the direction already exists. The line segment exists. 
Then what is missing is the size. Vector itu memiliki arah. How do you measure the line segment of the OP vector? Lalu yang belum adalah ukurannya. Yes, we can use the Pythagoras method. Here we can see the change from 0 0.00 to 0.34. Di sini kita bisa lihat perubahan dari titik 0,0 ke titik 3,4 untuk nilai x-nya sejauh For the x value of 0, 0, we can calculate 1, 2, 3, as far as 3. Lalu perubahan nilai y -nya. Then the change in the y value is as far as 1, 2, 3, 4. This means that the change in the x value is 3 and the change in the y value is 4. We can use Pythagoras or we can fill this in the form of a right triangle. We can immediately use the Pythagoras theorem by giving the square root of the change in x. Earlier, 3 was added and y changed to 4, so the result is square root of 25. The result is 5. So, this OP vector has a length of 5 or a line segment length of 5. Vector OP ini memiliki... That seems easy, right? Then we'll try to find a slightly more too difficult vector than this one. Seperti itu. Mudah bukan? Lalu kita akan mencoba mencari vektor yang lebih sulit sedikit lagi dibanding yang ini. Oke, kita cabut dulu Pushkinnya. Misalnya kita punya sebuah titik kita misalkan saja sebenarnya bisa acak for example, we have a point, let's say point A. Point A, for example, 3, 5. Then there is point B, which is negative 2, 7. Titik B, yaitu di titik misalnya negatif 2, koma, koma 7, tidak apa-apa. Nah, akan coba We will try to find the vector AB. What shape? AB. Ya, kita akan coba mencari vektor AB. Bagaimanakah bentuknya? Baik. Coba kita ambil lagi pushpinnya yang pertama. Okay, let's take the first pushpin again, 3, 5. 3 means we take position 3 to the right from the center as far as 1. 2, 3. Then 5 along the y axis up as far as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We can give push pins. This is point A, 3, 5. Then we can also give a push pin for point B, negative 2, 7. Juga bisa memberikan pushpin untuk titik B negatif 2,7. Pertama, first we go from the middle of 0, 0 through distances to the left along the x axis. 1, 2, then 7 up along the y axis. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. This is the point. We can give a push pin again to highlight it and we label this point B. Then, if we are going to make a vector line segment AB, then we have to make it using a straw. Jika kita akan membuat ruas garis vektor AB, maka kita harus membuat if we look at the direction of AB, the arrow means A towards B. It means from A towards B. So, don't reverse it, B towards A. If A is towards B, it means the sharp direction is to B. 
D berarti arah tajamnya ke G. Oke, kita bisa ukur dulu pertama. We can measure first the size. After getting it, we can cut it. Adjust it to the length of AB. Now, after cutting it according to the length, because here A is towards to B, we cut it at the end of B, at an angle so that the direction can be felt. Sehingga dapat teraga arahnya. Ya, seperti ini. Potong menyerong. Nah, lalu kita pushin di sana dari mulai A. Yes, correct. Then we can give push pins. Now this is vector AB. If we hold it from A moving towards B, we can feel the direction. Representasi dari penulisan vektor AB bisa kita buat dengan cara mengurangi dari titik B dengan A. Jadi jika AB berarti B. We can make a representation of writing vector AB by subtracting from point B with A. So, if AB, it means B minus A. Titik B dikurang A, di mana untuk yang pertama adalah X-nya atau absisnya, negatif 2 dikurangi 3. We write the vector AB earlier with point B minus A, where for the first is the X or abscess, negative 2 minus 3, and the one below for the ordinate is 7 minus 5. So it can be written like this, negative 5 and 2. So the vector AB is negative 5 and 2. It can be written down negative 5, 2. Okay, friends, we can develop it again to answer existing equations, and we can also make creations more possible. We don't have to use a straw all the time, so all blind friends can use a variety of other tools. Learning vector is easy, isn't it? Wish you have a happy math learning. Thank you.